purpose of this video is to show how to combine the SAIRSAT satellite with the IRIS channels on 9 degrees east along with the Astro 2 satellite at 28 degrees east which has the BBCs and the ITVs for the ideal sort of all satellite free TV setup. So the key to this is to use this two-way Dysic switch we have in front of me here. It comes in this outer box and then there's a plastic casing here which you can pull out and really the Dysic switch is this part in the middle. So there's two LMB um, inputs here. LMB1 which it's set up we'll say with the Sarasat and LMB2 which we can set up uh, with um, the Astro 2 satellite and then a single cable feeds from here directly into this satellite receiver here. Now this is a Zorro 8530 and the key points about this satellite receiver that make it ideal is that, that it's a HD DVB S2 receiver. Okay. So what we have on our roof outside is we have an 80 centimeter satellite with a KA band LMB that's set up for SAIRSAT for the Irish channels and then we have a standard sky dish set up for the Astro 2. So what we're going to do here is we have this white LMB here and we also have uh, so the, uh, which is the SAIRSAT and that's LMB1 and LMB2 here is going to correspond to the Astro 2, the BBCs and we'll grab a single cable here then that has F connectors on both ends, just push on connectors and what we're going to do is we're just simply going to connect this into the LMB input on the back of this box here so what we're going to do here is if we just rotate it around like this LMB1 input and just rotate it back around like that Okay, so the next step here is to actually come along and train this particular uh, box to know which input is which. And what we'll be able to do then is set up the BBCs and the, uh, and the IRIS channels from the two different satellites seamlessly so that they appear to come from the one satellite. So what we're going to do here next is I'm going to hit the menu button and I'm simply going to arrow over as far as the list of satellites here. Okay, so we've already actually come along here and we've added on a KA band uh, uh, 9 which uh, corresponds to the SAIRSAT satellite here and I've added on the transponder for the Irish channels. I did it in the previous video and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go to the Astro 2 satellite here with the BBCs and ITVs. So what I'll do is I'll just arrow across and I'm going to come down here as far as the Dysic switch and I'm going to say yes we're going to do this and we're going to set it up on Dysic switch 2, LMB2 and you can see once we select that it actually sees the signal. It looks at the Dysic switch goes to that port 2 and says yes I can see a signal there okay so what we'll do here is we we'll simply go okay at that and we we'll just exit back out and now we'll go use the option to go to the transponder here which is go to so we can see the settings here have been saved so I don't want to do a full scan of the entire satellite for this demonstration what I'm actually going to do is I'm simply going to go to this particular transponder so I'll just go to go to here and we'll do a scan of we'll say um, we'll do the scan of the very first one here uh, so we'll just hit the blue button here and we'll see this is going to be successful because it's picking up a signal on it. So what we do here now is we simply come along and we hit the blue button uh, and we can go for encrypted all channels or just free to air I suppose would be the most interest to us and just go OK here. So it's just going to scan this one particular one here. So it's pulled in all the channel 4s, uh, film 4 etc which have been broadcast off that one transponder and if we just wait for a second we can actually see here. So we can see a full comprehensive list of channels here that have come in and basically there's just 10 channels on it okay so what we'll do is go back in now and we want to um, so just exit first and then menu here and I'll come back over to the satellite list again and what I'll do at this stage is I'll just go down to the SAIRSAT satellite here so what we want to do here is I'll just uh, arrow over and I'll come along and I'll say this is set up in the Dysic switch at LMB1 so if I'm happy with that I simply go uh, OK and I'll just exit back out and now I'll simply go to this transponder here. So I'll just go to the go to button here. And there's only one transponder actually on this particular one because I've manually set it up. And I can do a scan here as well. So what we'll do here is we'll do a scan. Um, we'll go for the default mode of, um, well, we don't actually need to go for free to air channel only here. We'll go for it all. But I'll just go to the scan here at this point anyway and just go OK. So just wait for a moment here. And we can see we've pulled in the Irish channels here. OK. So once we come out of this, we'll just see. So it's just added on to the existing list of channels. It didn't overwrite the BBCs or anything like that. So we can see we have RT1, 2, RT News, RT Junior, and RT Plus 1. Okay? Now if we arrow down further here, uh, we'll see uh, that things like TV3 and 3E aren't currently there. Now TG Cahar are apparently going to go on. The TV3 and 3E uh, is in discussion right now. But most important here from the demonstration of this thing here, if we arrow down here now to channel 4, 
we can see we've been able to flick directly from uh, the, the Irish satellite channel over to the Astra 2 satellite channels and it's totally seamless. So you can see how easy it is to set up. It takes a few minutes uh, in terms of the programming thing but it, it actually is fantastic now and it's going to be massively practical and this is going to be super for people uh, who are, we'll say, currently subscribing to Sky simply because they live in an area where Serview is not going to be applicable to them. They just cannot get the coverage and they're subscribing to Sky just for the Irish channels. This will work anywhere in Ireland. So it really is a great, great innovation and as you can see here, how easy it is. So the way we've currently set it up here is with two satellite dishes. You could actually do it in a single dish with an offset arm and there's a whole series of videos that are going to follow up on this that's going to cover that entire topic. So that's it anyway. Uh, how to combine a SARESAT and Astro onto a single satellite receiver using a two-way DISIC switch.